Baby, yes, I'm excited. I feel like I've done and gone to heaven. 100%. If this is what heaven is, I'm going to heaven <laughs> if they'll have me in there. I, it's absolutely amazing. Guitars, everything about Daniel that could be good, it's all here. Incredible. I mean, I, I usually like to just wait till I'm in front of the actual art and then I'll challenge it. I'll lightly go to it. Um, even under my breath, I'll mutter, I'll say, move me. Oh my god, dude. Van Dyke Park's orchestral score for Love Your Life. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, it's literally handwritten in pencil. Look at the fucking semi-quavers. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that's good stuff. Fuck. And look, check it out. It's associated with this album as well. This, did you ever listen to this? This yeah. is a pitchfork game. This is like a two, but this is unbelievable. Him I call a pitchfork game. <laughs> yeah, I know, but they got it wrong. It's un unbelievable. Yeah, and okay. Young Modern, like, yeah, I don't I know. know about you, know. arguably best chair album. Yeah, I know. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. It's got all the, the check it out. They've got all the singles here as well. It's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's one of the most complete things I've ever seen. This whole experience. Really. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> Top to bottom. Sick. Well, we've known Daniel for God, what feels like a millennia now. So like, I don't know. We were talking. One thing led to another, and we ended up with VIP passes. <laughs> Look at the VIP! VIP, yeah. man! <laughs> Not exactly VIP, we still had to pay for them. Yeah, that's correct, we did have to pay for them, but... With our band card, yeah. Yeah, I bought them on the band card. Yeah. That's what money's for. And it was supposed to be a Christmas present. So... Silver Edo, welcome to the future never. Silver Edo, welcome to the future never. Silver Edo, welcome to the future never. Welcome. To know where you are going, you need to know where you have been. Welcome to Daniel Johns. Past, present and future never. <laughs> An exhibition that illuminates the story of Australia's most awarded musician. <laughs> Journey through time and immerse yourself in a showcase like no other. Yeah, all right, we'll do. <laughs> Now, guys, I only have two rules, okay? Number one, please don't touch anything, especially not the DeLorean. And number two, just have fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And who's the guitarist of the band? <laughs> well, Todd, you'll be pleased to know that this is Daniel's very personal private collection. Very, very valuable. Freak show. Did you okay? <laughs> Never been better, man. Honestly. <laughs> Never been better. Like, who is this freak? <laughs> Where is he now? Oh. Dude. Psycho. <laughs> oh my god. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh. It's not they, right tune. Yeah, they tuned it the wrong. Tune here, I yeah, yeah, they tuned it. He plays E A E. Um what's a do you know an E? I, I think it's a bit higher. More? Yeah, a little bit higher. More? Yep, higher. I never thought I'd be able to look at, let alone even hold one of Dan's actual guitars. Like it's actually insane. My my fifteen year old self would be losing it right now. More? Yep, higher. More? A little bit higher. Alright. Yep. More? A little bit higher. Alright. Yep. Oh, oh, fuck. I just, I just checked out. Some really cool stuff. I was um, just over there before um, looking at some, some lyrics that Daniel had written, and um, there's that song Freak, and he sings, uh, No more maybes. The baby's got rabies. Yeah. So at, at this point in the lyrical journey we understand what well the baby's got rabies yeah and can you imagine how sick a baby would be if it had rabies fully yeah so he's bringing up some pretty pretty uh, unsettling imagery and then he goes on to say sitting on a ball and and 
I take that as, well, is he talking about the earth? Is he talking about a cricket ball? We both know he loved cricket. He was the captain at high school. That's right. Yeah. Um, in the middle of the Andes. Now, at this point, I doubt whether Daniel Johns had ever been anywhere near the Andes. It's incredible. You know, he, he's just the complete artist. Like, his lyrics are one thing. His songwriting, I don't think we're going to see a better songwriter in Australia in my lifetime. And look, that's why it's such an honour to play in a band with Jamie. Isn't this an absolute beast of a piece? I mean, it feels like it's got magnets in it. It just draws you right in. He actually wrote Tuna and the Brian on that one. Oh, oh no way. way. From Diorama? Yep. Oh, it's like a laundromat. Oh, we can do our washing. <laughs> Psst, yo, should we get in the DeLorean? Uh, we can't. Yes, we can. No, she said we can't. We're we can. That's what she said. We're She's down there. She's not even looking. No, she will get in trouble there. What, what are you, a big baby? I'm not a baby. Yes, you are. You're being a baby. You're a baby. Let's get in the DeLorean. Uh, okay, come on. <laughs> Oi, I'm going to get in the DeLorean. I'm going to get in the DeLorean. <laughs> Oh, dude, it's manual. Oh, it's left-hand drive as well. Yeah. Oh. Dude, if you could time travel anywhere, anywhere in time, where would you go? I'd go back to 2020, when we interviewed Daniel Johns on that episode of TNSW Tonight that never aired. Good evening, viewers, and welcome to what is likely to be a landmark episode for TNSW tonight. I will plunge deep into a one-on-one -on -one tell all with the man who invented Australian music. At least he did for me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's a notoriously He's a notoriously reclusive star, having holed himself up for the last 12 months in the United States, working on what some fans and some subredditors, more to the point, believe might just be the long-awaited return of the 21 ARIA award-winning silver chair. Oh. That would be nice. Tell me about it. <laughs> now, Daniel and his team have been really tight-lipped in the lead up to this. But we are twinkle toes delighted to be premiering his brand new single, talking about his new project and finding out just what the bloody hell this genius has been up to for the last 12 months. <laughs> Let's kick this thing's fucking head off. <laughs> How are you guys? Yeah, really good. Pretty yeah. good. Pretty excited. I, for one, am very excited to see Daniel again. Um, it's going to be great. Because I know you've, you've met him yep. before, Todd. Yep. yep. And you've met him, Will. Yep. You've never met him, Frank. No. No. I, you're right. I haven't met him no. before. But I'm very excited to meet him. Yeah, well, you would be. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. What do you think he's going to be like? Oof, I don't know. I mean, he, well, I don't know. He could be like quite charming no, and charismatic no. or, Keep... um, well, I don't know. Maybe, he's, well, you talk about him being a, a bit reclusive from time mm. to time, so he might be a bit timid no. and um, less likely to no, not really, no. share himself. I, I think it's very easy for us as laymen to make up preconceived notions of who someone might be before we meet them. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, but I think what you'll find is if you, if you scratch a little bit below the surface, you'll unveil a, a deeper complexity to someone, um, which you may have otherwise missed if you're kicking around the, out, the outskirts. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like, um, you know, people that have grown up watching my dad on the telly. No, and they think no, he's... it's nothing like your dad. Leave Gary out of this. Anyway, sorry, I'm a bit blown off course there. Violent Soho here, and today we look at the video clip. 
to pick it up again. So at first I thought, I was watching these guys and I thought they looked like if, um, what if the reservoir dogs were Kelpies? And um, it feels quite COVID in nature. I guess nothing covidinal will last. It's such a strange time and place that people look back on this period of time with curiosity. That's what I believe. Will people still watch things that we made during COVID? Anyway, I like the way that the symbols sound. Um, yeah. It sounds really good four yeah. times in a row, almost meditative in style. See you later. And now my moment we've all been waiting for. I know him, Todd and Will kind of know him, and Frank's never even seen him before in real life. This is Daniel Jones, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you, nice to see you again. Thanks. What have you done? What are you doing? What have you been doing this morning that's led you to... I was at Mickey's house. Who's? Mickey Fanning. Mick, Mick Fanning, the yeah. surfer? Yeah. You've been surfing? Uh-huh. For oh. like, uh, the, like, since I got back from Hawaii, yeah. His house would be nice, I bet, huh? That's He's on nice. that billabong couch. Oh, it's, it's quaint. Okay. It's nice. Nice. Small. I'm curious about the surfing. You, have you always been a surfer? No. Are those boardies Just... wet? <laughs> they are a bit wet. Are they? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was surfing this morning at Bells. Bells yeah. Beach, famous, uh, worldwide famous surf spot. Yep. So, yeah, they were. And, it's, uh, and the surfing is, is a new thing or is it an old thing? No, I've been doing it for like 12 months. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You're getting pretty good. You can stand up. Yeah. I can stand up. I'm like, I, I got it like after about four months, I reckon. Okay. That's quite yeah. quick. And then I was just like... That's quite quick. Did you guys yeah. ever surf? I boogie boarded, actually, yeah. I boogie boarded too. About 12 months. Yeah. Mm. Too cold though. Yeah. Give that yeah. up. Yeah. I boogie boarded as well. I really loved it. It was yeah. so fun. Well, it's a great thing to do. I love my yeah. boogie board. Yeah. Uh, my mum bought me my boogie board when I was 12. What my boogie board did you have? That was Manta. I had a Manta oh, boogie yeah. board. <laughs> yeah. wow. That's so good. That yes. was the best. That was yeah. the best brand. Yeah. Wow. I had tuna. This is all right. Yuck. So living in the States, you said you've been living in the States, I was told. I have been in the States for like 12, 12-ish months. Yeah, I think. Okay. I think, yeah. So it, what were you doing in Hawaii? You were presumably surfing. I was surfing a lot, yeah. Okay. I spent a lot of time like hanging out, getting to know myself, you know. And, and you were making music? A right? lot, yeah, uh, a lot. Yeah. A lot of really great original stuff. Nice. So what's the sound? Oh, it's like, it's like the beach meets the sand. Like surf music? Kind of, yeah. You know. Yeah. I, I do know. And you know what's funny? I said surf was coming back, didn't I? I did, did I? Yes or no? You did not. I did say surf was coming back. I said, because it started with psychedelia. Okay. And then it went into punk for a little while. Of which we... We started that whole movement in Australia. Well, the Australian yeah. punk thing. Damn near close. Well, yeah. We, we were certainly at the tip. Wow. The forefront of it. Um, then it went to trap. And I said, surf is next. I did. And it, what I'm interested in is I think that, that you might be, if you'll excuse my pun here, <laughs> uh, riding the new wave, if you will, of surf music. Oh, so you're, <laughs> you're under the that. barrel, uh, right? And you're under the barrel and you're riding the new wave of surf music into shore. And I hope you land safely. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I like my chances. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, tell us about the project. What's it called, for crying out loud? Uh, so the new project, I decided to rename it Sandy Johnson. Because the sand and Johns. Okay. It makes then, perfect sense to me. Yeah. It's kind of similar to other surf artists who have gone before you. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, like Jack Johnson. Oh. Kind of. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I mean, there's yeah. been lots of... No, there's heaps of Johnsons. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Look up the phone book, go to J, 10, well, the 10 to 20 pages of Johnsons. Well, more Jones, I reckon. Probably. Yeah. I reckon, there's more, pages I reckon there'd be more Joneses. Yeah. How did Hawaii creep into the music? That's what I want to know. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking you're on the beach. You surely didn't lug a bloody Fender amp down onto the sand. 
Uh, so what's the instrumentation then? That's what I'm getting at. It's just me and my guitar, man. Cooey? Cooey. Okay. Because that's all we got. That's all we got. When you, when you live in nature, man, that's all we got. Someone said the, something about a... You got into an altercation in the ocean with a... With a big fish. A shark, <laughs> they said. I didn't believe it. True or false? True. I was with Nick. And we went out. And this is pre... This is pre the other shark attack. But your Mick story, because Mick Fanning, I believe, punched a shark. He did. Okay. He did, yeah. And, but, but now I you've did, punched... But I did it first. You did it first. 100%. Uh, I think we've... Izzy, do we have a... We've got a... Well, we've got a surfboard. I'll tell you, it's a I'll show you exactly what happened. Just show us what happened. Jesus. Bring it on. We've got this. I remember it. Thanks. It's not quite a, a mal that you're used to, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a boogie board nonetheless. No, it's okay. I'll just... I'll act like it's a mal. Act it out. All right. So I'm like... But I'm like... I'm like this. So he's on the board. Right. Paddling out. And then I'm like... He's up. Dude. The man can stand! <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like... And then this shark... Shark comes up. And I'm just like... Oh, bam! And you've and punched the shark's it. just like... So you've punched, it, you've punched the shark. Elbowed it too. Elbowed it too! Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. One, two. Yeah. <laughs> Combo. Boo, boo. Yeah, um, I really got it. And what did the shark have to say about that? I can't imagine it would have been... I can't imagine it said much, mate. Um, it's funny that you mentioned that story because I actually have a sort of similar anecdote. And do you? I do. It, it was my brother's birthday. Uh, apologies if you've heard this one before, guys, but it's a great story and I will tell it. My brother's birthday falls on Christmas Day. He loves golf. What can I say? <laughs> it's me, my brother, my mum and my auntie Vivian. I said to Ben, what do you want for your birthday? He said, I want to go to the driving range. Slap a few. I said, no, no worries. My auntie's a lovely baker. She's baked a, a tray of custard tarts, uh, jam donuts, an assortment of biscuits and the like. You know, you, you get my drift. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm eyeing off this, this, this tray of uh, treats because I'm a sweet tooth, you see. And I'm thinking, how can I get that tray of treats and eat it all myself. So I've snuck the tray of treats, thinking no one's looking. Stick with me here, it's thinking no one's looking. And my auntie's up at the, the, the tea, she's about to tee off, and she gives it this. She gives it this, ready? Christine, that's my mum. Jamie's gone and scoffed himself again. <laughs> Too good. No, because it was just a classic thing that I would always do if there were treats around and stuff, so. Yeah. No, I just thought he had a good story and I, you know, that's just one that came to my mind, so. That's funny. <sighs> so, Daniel Johns is going to share with us the new project from Sandy Johnson, it's going to be the world premiere of the new single. It's called Sex on the Beach. Don't go anywhere. If you do, I will come to your house and ransack it. You need to see this. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> this girl was Presley, baby. It's Elvis. But she's a girl. Hi, I'm Gelvis Presley, and I'm a female Elvis tribute artist, one of the only ones in the game. <laughs> you can hire me for weddings, parties, gatherings, elegant cocktail evenings, more traditional meals, Zoom calls, larger parties, wakes, board meetings, halftime sporting events, closing down sales. To hire me, you can call this number now. <laughs> And now, performing his brand new single for the first time, anywhere, everywhere, Sandy Johnson with Sex on the Beach. Sex on the beach at 
Someone get this man a record deal and do a quick sooner rather than later. Because that was great. I got goosebumps. <laughs> I got goosebumps. Sandy Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah. Yeah, thank uh, thank you see so you so next time. So, yeah, so good. Thanks, Thanks. Oh, so good. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.